Oh, my heart is overflowing with joy. It is an honor to be here with you all in the presence of this incredible group of hundreds of people spanning continents on Zoom, on Facebook, YouTube. My heart is lifted. Are you feeling lifted? Maybe you can help me light up the chat to give thanks for drum leadership, staff, volunteers, past and present, musicians, poets, artists, admins, organizers, tech Zoom leaders, members, supporters, and cool cat herders who have made this moment and many years of drum saving ministry possible. Your choice to do this one more thing in your busy life, your choice to give of your time, talent, treasure creates this space where many of us have an opportunity to connect our identity and our faith. Drum is a special space. Thank you for making it possible. Several years ago, Comedian Cecily Strong, in referencing her identity, stated that she is, quote, a mashup of everyone on Hillary's campaign brochures. And I remember thinking when I heard that, I kind of resemble that remark. And I'm also aware of the many privileges that my identity carries and the challenges too, because depending on who's gazing at me, what their programming is and what's in their heart, I need to communicate in a very different way. And I thought, I thought I had things figured out. I mean, nearly 50 years with trips around the sun, navigating these ever shifting sands and code switching, I thought I was good enough at it to get by. But something happened this year. Something drove home the point about what the impact really is for me and my body with my cultural background in this country. And I wonder if this might have meaning for you too. The congregation I feel blessed to serve is situated in Indianapolis, the crossroads of America on the land of the Miami people past and present. In our city, Spanish is the second most spoken language and the congregation's primary community relationship is building with the Latinx migrant community. This congregation is committed to being culturally competent and welcoming. So as part of a larger body of work, a multi-generational, multicultural group of 16 people joined me for a Spanish language and cultural immersion in Cali, Colombia this March, where we have a UU community connection. And I wanna shout out to the Reverend Jorge Espinel, who serves as a chaplain there. Now, while the Andes have nurtured my family, my family came here from Buenos Aires, not Cali. I am US born, I wanna be clear and Lo siento, abuelo, my Spanish is far from awesome. And yet, even with all of this, even while leading this large group and still doing congregational work from Colombia, my resting heart rate was 10 beats per minute lower. 10 beats per minute lower. This is a major biometric shift which caused me to wonder about some things. I wondered about my family culture, the way I was raised and the impacts of living in a society that is so different from how I am wired to be. Entonces, I am from a place where we move the furniture and dance when we are together. The music is always blasting when we clean or cook. Even the fridge makes a perfect partner to practice ochos. I am from people who like Mira doodle on blank pages, paint murals on walls. They sing and sculpt, create art and life, express joy and creativity in good times and bad, all the while asking, quizás pensó, 
at the story Ali LaBear shared. I am made of pasta, empanadas, lasagna, and parilla. Family dinners with a cacophony of languages all spoken at the same time with no one really listening to each other, but love glistening in every drop of time spent together. I am from getting the work done ahorita. We hug and kiss everyone hello and goodbye, even if we never met before. Galletas or Oreos pulled from the fridge con un cafecita so we can visit and there is always time to visit. Drop by any time. The door is open and a place will be made at the table, even if you have to dodge Primo's elbow or Tia Rafaela from stealing your napkin. She was like that. I am from a culture where we aim to be present to one another and center care. My people say, sit down. You work hard and are tired. Did you eat yet? I will fix you a plate. I found so much of my family culture that formed me in Kali and I could breathe there. It was a stark reminder that the places where I live, move, and have my being are still not made for me. And it is taking a physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional toll, even with my self-care plan, even with my privileges, even with all of the bold promises of welcome and community. The gap between the promise and the practice swallows me whole at times. And maybe it's harming you too. Pero mi gente. We do not have to sacrifice our bodies for this faith, our jobs, or anything. We are precious, made of creation itself. Quizás pensó. In a recent pastoral note, the Reverend Manish Mishra Marzetti in the capacity of drum lead chaplain stated, and this is only part of his note. I've been holding some sadness related to the ongoing pattern of BIPOC professionals and congregants leaving our UU congregations and at times Unitarian Universalism altogether. The specifics in each individual case may be different and the specifics matter. But at the end of the day, we are left with a pattern that is recognizable and familiar. Those who began congregational journeys with joy and earnestness are left feeling disillusioned, frustrated, and without community. I wish that I could tell you this pattern is new or recent. It is not. This pattern is so familiar that on some conscious or subconscious level, it has become anticipated at the systemic level. Pattern is not a surprise, even though this pattern is awful. I, for one, have personally witnessed and or experienced firsthand this pattern within Unitarian Universalism for a quarter of a century, and it breaks my heart. I've wept at the loss from our movement of dear friends and colleagues more times than even I can recount." End quote. The Commission on Institutional Changes Widening the Circle of Concern report is riddled with stories. We all know them. Maybe many of us here are living them fighting to stay in a community that promises us welcome and misses on practices over and over again, sometimes debating our rights, questioning our qualifications, our right to be, worried that solidarity might compromise dominant culture, safety, or comfort without considering the daily threats some of us live with, and it takes a toll. You might even be on the edge of leaving right now. Your body might be sharing warning signals with you. Reach out to a drum chaplain or me or another drum sibling 
because drum siblings are here to help you shine. And I say this from a place of knowing because if it wasn't for me, Hante, if it wasn't for drum Ken saving me over and over again, I wouldn't be here now. Quizás pensó un pájaro más. But maybe just one more something. A bird here or there. Argentine queer liber liberation theologian Marcella Alfos Reed wrote extensively about the power of linking our actions to our theologies, ever seeking the liberation of the force of creation itself that she called God. In her work, the queer God Alfos Reed challenges society to be present to the queer Latina who goes to the salsa bar rosary in her pocket to find love and God through a relationship with another woman. Through the liberation of this Latina from being torn between love and the rosary, she is free and God is free from the box dominant culture has created for them both. Va a haber amor. Will love prevail? Althaus Reed asks. The search for love and for truth is a bodily one, she says. And she continues with bodies in love add many theological insights to the quest for God and truth, but doing theology from other contexts is needed to consider the experiences and reflections of others. To entendiste. None of us, not our bodies, our lives, our faith, or God, or this world, will be free until dominant culture is flipped on its head like the merchant's tables in the temple. Y nosotros tenemos las chanclas. The power to flip these tables is alive in the bones of my ancestors and yours. The shine of our chosen found or biological ancestors smiles. The laughter that radiates from them, their resilience is our foundation. And as they shine on, we shine on. They are the brown sibling, always moving, head held high, shoulders squared, hips swaying to the music on the street, as the Reverend Dr. Kristen Harper shared. We recognize them and they recognize our swagger, maybe even bolder than theirs. Oh, they shine even as dust and bone. Their shine and sway so alive in us. And when we gather, overflowing with joy, just like this moment, one light touching another, we glow together, grow together, create change together. And this is why we need drum. And this is the Unitarian Universalism that I signed up for. How about you? Man, they. We know how to shine on as a brilliant and resilient people because others before us did it first. Our bodies, theologies of art, our beingness and unabashed sparkling freedom that is emerging is the liberation of our own hearts and souls and our collective faith. So let us play the music, make the block party and paint the town as an act of faithful resistance, a way of flipping the tables, a way of celebration of our resilience community and the transformation we create together. And if you're somewhere saying to me, yes, Katie, yes, I'm in, but I can't do this in my community yet. And I invite you again to recommit right now to creating it here in the drum community, because we need each other to thrive and survive. I'm in. Are you with me? 
I invite you to enter into a moment of prayer or meditation with me. Holy One of many names, some of us may be very tired. Some of us may be filled with energy and joy. Bring us closer together, reminding us always that we are stronger when we are together. Keep us moving the furniture to baila, baila, baila in our own ways to sing our songs, write our stories, slam with our po poetry from the streets and the pulpit. Let us make justice with our joy, loving with our liberation, transforming ourselves and all the promises into practice. Give us the strength to shine on and amplify our glow and that of others. May it be so. Amen. Yamin and blessed be.